that is what Billy Smyro is saying in that song. Hell hath no fury like a human born. And again, Byer says she is happy being morbidly obese. The comedian, more power to her. That's great. That's great. But if you're not happy being that way, I think you have a right to, like Adele, to lose a lot of weight and get thin and, and not be thin shamed. <laughs> and I was like, people are saying she's too skinny. Nah, they just don't like that she lost the weight, mom. I'll have no fury like a human born. Certain humans. 26 years. I love talking to Joe because Joe and I remember when this world was so different. Like night and day different than it is nowadays. Even pre P, okay? It's night and day different. Everything's different. And that's because of smartphones, internet, technology, the whole nine yards, okay? You know? We didn't have cell phones. Like, um, Eliza Shusiger saying, Let me tell you the tale of the landline. <laughs> and she's still a millennial, but she's an elder millennial. She's right on the cusp. Um, and Joe is mostly working with millennials, and Joe's 10 years older than me, so, you know, it's not easy for him, to say the least. We talked nearly eight hours, and talking to him, I can remember a more, in, you know, a more innocent time when he and I first were together and dating and living together and everything, and, but he was still even though he wasn't with the witnesses, that's what he believed, and he had me studying all their stuff, and I'd never encountered a Christian religion that didn't believe in hell, so I was like, oh, this is awesome. But it amuses the shit out of me, that. I won't say it to him, but I've hinted around it. He's like, well, you know, people grow and change, blah, blah, blah. I know, but. He went and he said it again last night in the phone call. We, we went to 3.30 in the quarter, 4 in the morning. It was nearly eight hours long. But um, he said it to me. He's like, he's like, he said it before. I know I choose to come here. I, he got regressed. But if I had said anything like that to him when we first met, not only would he would have been, oh, like my child, like things, other things that he talked to me like that. You know, that's coming from Satan. Because remember, the witnesses believe in evil and Satan. They just don't believe you burn eternally and fucking hell. And, and they study the Bible and they say that it's not even in the Bible. Not, no, it was added in to keep people in line, okay? It's not even in the fucking original Bible that you burn eternally in hell, okay? Anyhow. But if I had tried to say to him... Oh, well, I know. I believe in reincarnation. I, know, I remember, which I don't remember coming here, but whatever. He says he, he, he knows that he came here and chose to come here and, um, and, and be tormented. <laughs> um, get his ass kicked, so to speak. Um, anyhow, he would have been like, you're... You're delusional, Lord. That's coming from Satan. It's not true, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And now, 26 years later, look what he's believing. Now, don't tell me that that shouldn't amuse the shit out of me, and I get such a kick out of it. Because if I had I said that to him all those years ago, there was no doubt in his mind that the witnesses spoke the truth and they were the truth, and there was no persuading him. I have tons of letters that prove it. And remember, he also said, I don't know how to love me. And he didn't care. He didn't care. 
he knew whatever in love means. People throw that word around so, like, I loved him. I adored him. And he didn't care if I wasn't in love with him, whatever that means. And he just said, you don't know how to love. And he still asked me to marry him, even though I wasn't in love with him. So, But he asked me to marry him when he was back with the witnesses. Because the more, the close, the more I love you, Laura, the closer I want to be to God. Yeah. We're already not even remotely sexually compatible, Joe. I'm not marrying a fucking Jehovah's Witness, no matter what package it's encased in. It no matter how much I love you, it wouldn't work out, and it probably would have ended very badly if I had married him anyway, and then we would have been friends here 26 fucking years later. 20 years later. Because this was at the end of our relationship, obviously. That he asked me to marry him. And 